Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be tackling another round of CompTIA A Plus Core 2 practice questions. Perfect for anyone prepping for the 220-1202 exam. We're going to be using Skill Test Pro again, which offers realistic exam style questions that cover everything from operating systems and security to software troubleshooting and IT procedures. If you're aiming to pass Core 2 with confidence, this is a great way to test your knowledge and sharpen your skills. So let's jump right in. First question. A user complains that they are unable to install a new program due to administrator restrictions. What should the technician check? The power supply? Display drivers? Printer settings? Windows update status? Or user account permissions? The correct answer is user account permissions. If a user lacks administrator privileges, they may be blocked from installing new software. All right, question two. A user needs to encrypt a sensitive file on their Windows system. Which built-in feature should they use? Disk cleanup? Task manager? BitLocker? Device manager? Or Windows Defender? The correct answer is BitLocker. BitLocker encrypts entire drives, while individual file encryption can be done through Windows Encrypting File System, or EFS. All right, question three. A technician needs to revert a Windows PC to a previous working state without losing personal files. What tool should they use? System Restore? Disk Cleanup? Device Manager? Windows Firewall? Or Task Manager? The correct answer is System Restore. System Restore reverts system settings and installed programs to an earlier point without affecting user files. All right, question four. A user reports that their Windows system is booting slowly. What is the most likely cause? A low monitor refresh rate? Too many startup programs? Incorrect printer driver? Overclocked CPU? Or a faulty graphics card? The correct answer is too many startup programs. Excessive startup programs can slow down the boot process by consuming system resources. All right, question five. A Windows system is experiencing frequent crashes and displays a blue screen of death, or the BSOD. What should the technician check first? The printer queue? Windows firewall settings? Task scheduler? Event viewer logs? Or display settings? The correct answer is Event Viewer Logs. Event Viewer Logs provide details about system crashes and errors, helping to diagnose the root cause of BSODs. All right, question six. A user is unable to access a website, and the technician suspects a DNS issue. What command should they use to flush the DNS cache? Check disk slash F, netstat dash A, IP config slash flush DNS, MS config, or task list? The correct answer is IP config slash flush DNS. Flushing the DNS cache can resolve connectivity issues related to outdated or incorrect DNS records. All right, question seven. A technician needs to change which programs launch at startup. What tools should they use? Device Manager, Disk Cleanup, Task Manager, Windows Defender, or System Restore? The correct answer, Task Manager. The Startup tab in Task Manager allows users to enable or disable startup applications. All right, question eight. Which command line tool displays the IP address and network configuration of a Windows system? Is it IP config, check disk, SFC, MS config, or netstat? The correct answer is IP config. The IP config command shows the system's network adapter configuration, including IP addresses and gateway settings. 
All right, question nine. A Windows system is running slowly, and the technician suspects malware. What's the first step they should take? Disable the firewall? Run a malware scan? Change the screen resolution? Replace the hard drive? Or restart the router? The correct answer is run a malware scan. A full malware scan can detect and remove malicious software that may be slowing down the system. All right, question 10. A user reports that their keyboard is typing the wrong characters. What's the most likely cause? Outdated display driver? A weak Wi-Fi signal? Low hard drive space? Incorrect keyboard layout? Or a disabled Windows firewall? The correct answer is an incorrect keyboard layout. A misconfigured keyboard layout can cause incorrect character input. All right, question 11. A technician suspects that a recent Windows update caused a system issue. What should they do? Reinstall Windows? Change the monitor resolution? Enable airplane mode? Disable Bluetooth? Or uninstall the update? The correct answer is uninstall the update. Removing the problematic update can restore system stability. All right, question 12. A technician needs to configure Windows updates to install automatically outside of business hours. Where should they go? Device Manager? Windows Update Settings? Task Manager? File Explorer? Or Event Viewer? The correct answer is Windows Update Settings. Windows Update Settings allow users to schedule updates for a specific time in order to avoid disruptions. All right, question 13. Which command can be used in Windows to check network connectivity? Is it DIR, IP config, check disk, ping, or netstat? The correct answer, ping. The ping command tests network connectivity by sending packets to a specified IP address or host name. Question 14. A user is unable to access a shared network folder. What should the technician check first? The computer's power settings? The screen resolution? Folder permissions? The antivirus update status? Or the printer driver? The correct answer, folder permissions. Incorrect folder permissions can prevent users from accessing shared network resources. All right, question 15. A technician is setting up a new Windows PC for an employee. What should they do to enhance security? Enable automatic login? Disable Windows updates? Turn off the firewall? Set the screen resolution to maximum? Or create a standard user account? The correct answer is create a standard user account. A standard user account limits administrative privileges, reducing the risk of unauthorized system changes. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's keep going. Question 16. A user reports that their desktop icons and files have disappeared after a Windows update. What should the technician check first? The user profile settings? The display resolution? The Windows firewall rules? The power supply voltage? or the keyboard layout? The correct answer is user profile settings. A corrupted or temporary user profile can cause files and settings to appear missing. Question 17. A Windows PC fails to boot and displays a missing or corrupt system files error. What should the technician check first? Replace the CPU? Run the System File Checker, or SFC. Change the screen resolution. Update the BIOS. Or install a new power supply. The correct answer is run the System File Checker, SFC. The SFC tool scans and repairs corrupted system files, which can help restore Windows functionality. All right, question 18. A technician needs to remotely assist a user with a Windows issue. Which built-in Windows tool should they use? Device Manager? Disk Cleanup? Remote Desktop? 
Windows Defender, or Task Manager? The correct answer is Remote Desktop. Remote Desktop allows a technician to remotely access and troubleshoot a user's computer. All right, question 19. A user reports that their computer is showing a your connection is not private error in the web browser. What is the most likely cause? Outdated mouse driver? Incorrect system date and time? Low screen resolution? Faulty power supply? Or disabled Windows Defender? The correct answer is incorrect system date and time. An incorrect date and time can cause SSL certificate validation errors, leading to security warnings in browsers. And question 20. A technician is troubleshooting a Windows PC that is stuck in a reboot loop after a failed update. What should they try first? Replace the hard drive? Reinstall Windows? Disable the firewall? Boot into safe mode? Or clear the browser cache? The correct answer is boot into safe mode. Safe mode allows Windows to load with minimal drivers and services, which can help resolve issues caused by a failed update. And that will wrap up this set of Core 2 practice questions. Awesome work getting through it, everybody. If you're serious about earning your a certification, well, then keep practicing and reviewing the areas that challenged you. I've also dropped the link to Skills Test Pro in the description and in the pinned comment down below so that you can explore more practice tests and resources. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep pushing forward. You've got this.